Thank you for the great talk, uh, Nicholas. And um, yeah, so the Q&A is now open. Folks, feel free to um, post the questions on the pad or IRC. And after a minute or two, we'll also open up this big blue button for people who are, might prefer to come join uh, Nicholas here directly and ask the questions here. Um, Nicholas, take it away. All right, thank you. And uh, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, maybe I'll go ahead and, uh, and read some questions that has popped up in the, the formula here then. So the first question is, can it replace SSH plus Tmax for persistent sessions on remote hosts? Um, so currently I would say it does not support that because it is designed to only run a single command inside a session. And when that finishes, it, yeah, it reports back. Um, but I have played with the idea. I think it should be possible to do, but uh, I wanted to start off and polish the experience with a, a single command first. And um, secondly, there is a question. I see integration with projectile in the readme. Uh, does it also integrate with project.el? Um, yeah, good question. I It doesn't. Uh, I haven't added any explicit support for it uh, because I typically run um, detached compile in in the project route uh, with my, my own command using project behind the scenes. But I guess project has a command for it now. So yeah, it should be very easy to, to add support for that. And I could also mention that could be one thing related to the first question there of using uh, kind of persistent sessions, um, that it would be interesting to see if, uh, for example, I occasionally run uh, a Python repo in Emacs. And if I could get that one to launch using detach, so, so I could restart Emacs and reattach to to the repo or also use it for, for situations where I have used the repo to, let's say, experiment with, I don't know, some NumPy function, how that works. And um, if I use detach for that, it would uh, automatically log then the whole session and I would have it accessible so I could, I could search for it uh, in, uh, in retrospect and uh, retrieve the, the log and see, OK, I ran this command. This happened, or basically. Um, so then there is a, a question. Can you, oh, OK, I'll read the, the other one. No, <laughs> there is two, two in the, it's ongoing. I'll wait for them. So the first question is, can you detach a session from shell mode and reattach from eShell vterm term mode or start a compile in a shell mode and attach it from compilation mode? Uh, yeah, so um, you can attach at the moment or reattach in uh, in shell mode e shell or v term that uh, is uh, no problem um currently i don't have support for attaching um in compilation mode so the way the the package is built is a, that when the session is uh, started it uh, there is a variable that gets, uh, yeah, kind of the value gets inserted into the session and it describes how, uh, how the session would handle, for example, attaching to it or 
uh, viewing the output, etc. Uh, but these uh, are the things that I want to primarily focus in in, in the near future. Uh, so making it easier to, for example, have a buffer up where you're attached to a session. You could run a um, key binding to switch to to like the view mode of that session. You get the full output, and then you could, you could view it. You can uh, switch back to to the attached version, which just shows a brief context, and then continues on with the uh, with the uh, yeah, current output from the session. Um, question number. Yeah, four here is how do you talk to detach? Could it be feasible to run a child Emacs instead of detach? Uh, would it make sense? Uh, better communication, maybe. Uh, so the way the way the talk with detach is done is I'll say very simple. Detach the program uh, supports. Um, basic instructions like detach dash a to attach or yeah that's basically it um, and um, that that is all that's being used under the hood and of course it uses um, it's a c flag to create and attach when uh, a session is started or the the dash um, and to start the session in in kind of detached mode, so it runs without the Emacs being attached to it. Um, currently, I don't think I've seen any uh, need for for better communication. But um, if people have ideas about uh, what could be done if it was added, um, yeah, that would be great. So maybe that could be a follow-up if you got ideas on how to improve it. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure if the Emacs child, um, yeah. I think if I got a better idea about what, what the person would like to achieve with it, uh, then maybe I could understand the, the question better there. Um, so another question is, how does it handle processes that require user input? Usually you type yes, no, etc. MetaX compiles great, but can't handle user input. Yeah, uh, so it, it's very... Uh, simple behind the scenes. It depends on what interface you use for for attaching Emacs to that process. So as the person says, if it's Metex compiled, then probably it doesn't handle it. Um, so in that case, I guess I would um, would have started it with uh, from the shell. Uh, if there is a a question you need to type yes or no then you can just um, type it and maybe detach from it uh, or if you end up in a situation where you started with metax compile but then it has a question i guess you could always pop up a shell uh, attached to the session and you will get the question there you press yeah, whatever as you like and then yeah, detach from, from that user interface. So another question is, can you rerun a command session, but in another directory? Um, yeah, you can't do that at the moment. Uh, I haven't really found a need for it. Uh, so typically, as I have been using detach uh, now when it has a persistent storage of the sessions. Um, it becomes rather natural that once I've run it once, uh, I can just 
uh, rerun it later in the same uh, directory. But maybe this is a feature that that should be added. Uh, it's a, maybe a common use case. Um, one thing that that I added uh, on top of the rerun is like an edit and rerun for those situations where I maybe run some compilation, uh, but with uh, with the compilation flag set to opt, and then I want to rerun the exact same command in the exact same directory, but with it uh, set to tbg instead for debugging. And then instead of pressing R to rerun, I press E, then I get a prompt uh, with the, the current command, and then I can add it, and it will rerun that. So maybe something similar for for another directory could be uh, could be added. Cool. I think we'll still have about um, 13 or 14 more minutes of live Q&A time uh, on stream. So if folks do have more questions about this talk uh, from Nicholas, please feel free to put them on the pad or come join here on the big blue button and ask here. Yeah. And I also want to mention that if you uh, realize later you have a question or a suggestion, feel free to to contact me or uh, you know create a new uh, post on the um, the mailing list for the project that's uh, much appreciated sounds good yeah so then um, yeah there is a question incoming So what are some other places where this might be useful? MU for refetching mail, uh, Git processes started by Magit. What things would you like to see working in a one to two year time frame? Um, yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think there are these situations, one thing I ran into yesterday was that I was trying to use uh, EMMS to uh, connect to the, um, the stream for Emacs Conf. And um, that was working fine. It was using MPV in the, in the background. Uh, but then I did some modifications to my Emacs and wanted to restart it. And then the stream died. Uh, so that's kind of those situations where I found it uh, valuable, uh, I added support for um, <clears throat> the DRED rsync package, for example, that I use uh, occasionally to copy uh, things uh, to um, yeah to a remote server or from a remote server, and um, yeah, that was always something that I thought could benefit from it. Uh, so. Uh, I, I would ideally uh, like to see if it can be used for for more uh, more of these processes. Um, I guess maybe I should um, you know get in contact with some of the devs to see uh, if they have ideas on how this could be in, uh, incorporated better in with Emacs because so far it was kind of straightforward to get it to work with you know shell or compile uh, but it it hacks around <laughs> the current implementation to make it use detach and uh, uh, if I wanted it to be used in in many more places it, yeah it feels like it would be 
maybe not the best way to have a lot of advices uh, being added to the various functions. Uh, but yeah, definitely, uh, uh, it would be really cool if that could be, uh, be worked on properly. Uh, so that once I've managed to get the, the workflow for its current implementation uh, a little bit more polished, I will try to look into to this. And also see what, what is possible. I, um, I don't know if there are any limitations uh, with uh, with my current approach that I need some more expertise on. So if there is no other questions, I'll... OK, there is another question. Hmm. OK, a general topic here. Um, what are you currently excited about in Emacs? Um, well, I'm really excited about uh, the tree sitter that was just added uh, to, uh, to Emacs 29. Uh, I haven't gotten around to, to use that yet. Uh, but I think it looks very promising, and uh, I'm a big fan of uh, of uh, structural editing that you can use in Lisp. So if this opens up the possibility to be able to use that more in uh, in other languages, that would be really cool. Um, otherwise, I'm. Um, um, I'm generally excited about how the uh, the program is developing. I think there is has been a lot of great additions in, uh, in these last uh, couple of uh, versions of the program. Uh, so it's it's cool to see, and uh, also how the uh, the Emacs Conf uh, has been continuing in being an annual thing and uh, also growing, adding this, uh, this new uh, layout with the general track and development track, I think is great. Thanks. Yeah, it's been interesting. Um, Emacs itself, I feel like the um, Emacs-devel um, mailing list has been uh, growing in traffic. Um, over the years, like I've been subscribed for a couple of years, and more recently, I'm just experiencing more and more, um, well, seeing more and more incoming emails from Emacs Devel, which is always cool. Um, yeah, and like you said, with Emacs mm, Conf, yeah. yeah, we have, um, well, we, we've been growing, thankfully. And yeah, this year we've experimented with having two tracks, which I think has turned out pretty well, pretty great, um, because we don't have to like, try to squeeze in all the talks uh, so tightly and you know be able to give proper Q&A time. Um, like this one, I think, which is pretty great. So yeah, very glad to hear and see it. Yeah, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, maybe I I should mention that now that I know that uh, the eShell uh, uh, talk is coming up by Howard, that I discovered there is a, there's a kind of a bug in the detached uh, implementation uh so um it doesn't handle properly the way eshell 
seems to communicate when you uh, uh, when you quote some text in in yeah in a, a shell uh, command. If you have been using quotes, it seems to be added as like text properties that gets into detached and. Uh, yeah, I didn't know about that, but uh, Detach is not uh, picking that up. So uh, if you try to run something like uh, uh, similar to like echo and quotation marks, uh, Niklas, then uh, yeah, it will not run it with quotation marks. So I guess for echo, it might work, but other commands, it can fail. So just be aware about that. I guess that's on the priority list to fix. Interesting. Yeah, for sure. I guess folks mm. can look forward to that getting hopefully fixed in the um, near-ish future or at some point. Yeah. And uh, I could add that maybe something that is in between this uh, request for, uh, for like persistent sessions um, is that it currently you can use detached in a way so it creates like it runs the session and once that finish uh, you use its uh, callback to generate a new session which runs some other command so you can chain detach uh, detached sessions uh, that way uh, i wanted to yeah, to improve upon how that has been implemented so that you can more easily start this uh, uh, changed sessions and that they would show up in the in the user interface. And um, maybe if you rerun uh, the top of the chain, it will actually start all these sessions um, that way. Uh, I have some use cases personally where, uh, for the time being, I, before running um, an executable, I actually need to, to run a different build command that I normally do. And I keep forgetting that, and then, uh, then that fails. And uh, it would be great to just be able to, I mean, you could always yeah, have that first command and then and and the other one, but uh, it doesn't look as nice. And uh, it would be nice to be able to see that, OK, this has been, uh, this is currently running, but in the next, once that finished, it will keep on running this one. Uh, so that's something I plan to, to add support for. Sounds good. That would be nice. Yeah, <laughs> I would like that as well. So <laughs> I have an incentive. Yeah. Also, not to completely derail this, but I mean, I don't think there are any questions as of moment, uh, as of now. So I can maybe mention this. Someone pinged me on IRC. Yeah. Uh, well, someone, um, Shoshin, good friend, and um, um, the creator actually of the musics that we've been using at EmacsConf between for our lunch breaks and here and there. Um, he mentioned mm -hmm. that he likes this um, FSF shirt. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, nice. Thanks. Yeah, it, it's I think from a year or so ago um, at F. Uh, it was put up for FSF's 35th birthday. Um, and mm -hmm. yeah, it's also what it says, FSF 35. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I'm not sure if it's still available cool. on their shop, but yeah, you might be able to find the, find it there, so. Nice. So they have their own uh, shop? Yeah, so they there is. Buy merch or? Yeah, exactly. There is shop.fsf.org, um, and they have a bunch of different um, goodies and uh, things, merchandise. You know, they have like shirts like this one, but they also thing uh, sell things like um, printed versions of the Emacs user manual, uh, which is particularly relevant for us. Um, yeah, and 
Emacs stickers. Um, I think you also sell pins and such. So yeah, I mean, if you are interested in Emacs or the new one FSF, might be worth checking out. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the tip. Yeah. Cool. And I think we have about one more minute of live Q and A time. If um, folks have any questions, um, any last minute ones, you're welcome to uh, send it in. I guess there's. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, this one got added from uh, Carfic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. If otherwise, if no further questions, maybe we wrap it up. Sure. Sounds good. Yeah, I don't see any new questions. So, um, yeah, thanks again, Nicholas, for the great talk. And, um, yeah, for sticking around and doing the live Q&A. It's much appreciated. And look forward to seeing the um, upcoming developments uh, in, in Detached. Thank you. And thanks for having me. Cheers. Very glad. See you around. See ya.